Hey guys, what's up? It's Donny and welcome to episode 9 of my Robin Hood Journal series. I am pretty close to completing my ultimate goal of gaining every single God Wars item. And with soloing being now really easy, I started doing a lot of solos and I've managed to get quite some solo drops for this episode. So I'm just gonna start showing these now. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with the Tova items first. I managed to get myself a nice shiny pair of Tova play legs. And these are like 160 mil, so it's not a bad drop at all. It's like one of the highest ones, I believe. So that's six kills later, um, I managed to get myself another epic drop, and it's a Tova play buddy. So that's a huge drop. It's the highest one, and that means that I got both legs and play buddy in like six kills, which is not bad at all. But I was like 70 kills dry before I got those. All right, so. A week later probably I managed to get another Tova Playbody, so that's 200, 200, 150, which is like 550 total, which is not bad at all for just my Tova splits, and that's about it for the Tova items. So that's it for the Tova items, I managed to get myself two Playbodies and one Playleg, so that's not bad at all. It sets now four Playbodies total and four Playlegs, which is crazy compared to the Boots and Helms. So I still need to get those Tova gloves. Hopefully I will be getting them soon because if I end up like with one item left and I keep getting every single item different, it's gonna be quite annoying, but hopefully they will come soon. I'll start maybe doing some dual kills to get some faster drops, but we'll see. It's time for the Pernix items and I got hardcore trolled here because I managed to get three Pernix gloves. I already spoiled it but there's no point in waiting because it's kind of annoying. I managed to get three Phoenix items and all they were the same. So that's not a huge progress at all because I still need that Zerat bow. So yeah, that wasn't really all that awesome since the gloves were like 20 mil each or so. Alright, so no progress at Phoenix sadly. I still need to get that Zerat bow, which a lot of people seem to get except me, which is so annoying. Like I would like to see Zerat Bow on the ground again because previously before I saw the RDG I was getting, getting quite a lot of Zerat Bows, I had like 4 in total and now I stopped getting them and I need them so hopefully next episode I will be getting that as well. Up to the next set which is the Furthest items and I had a clip of Furthest Rope Legs but apparently I overrided it with something else so I don't have the Furthest Legs. But I did manage to get another pair, so I managed to get two pairs of Furthest Legs this episode. And then I went a trip with Raji or aka Skiller and I managed to get Furthest Boots which was a troll drop. And finally something good, I managed to get myself a epic Furthest Wand. And that means I actually got something really good at Furthest, so that wasn't bad at all. I made some pretty good progress at the uh, first set, so I managed to get the rope legs and I, then I got them two times, which is pretty cool. Then I got the boots, which I already had, so it makes it two. Then I got the wand, which makes it a new one, so that was really epic. So I still need to get the first mask and the first book, so I'll be hopefully getting those within two episodes as well. And then I'm pretty much done, like, I'm pretty close now. Right, so it's time for a peek at my PVM tab or the RDG tab. So I took a screenshot since it's a bit more clear than the video. So the first two rows are obviously the normal common drops. There's also stuff like uh, the Dew Seed, the U Seed, or the Renard Bars, which is from Covet King. Uh, those got a bit mixed there, but uh, I'll just let them stay there. It looks pretty cool. So the first two rows is the normal drops, then we have the normal Gold Wars drops, like uh, the unique drops like the Armadillo Bandos and Subgation. Then we have the next items which I've soloed so far. So here's a price check of the normal drops in excluding the Gold Wars armor like Bandos with the solo items which comes to a total of 1.6 bill which is pretty crazy. So with the normal Gold Wars armor, I, it's probably around 2 billion I believe, I'm not sure how much the other items are, it's probably around 2 billion total, and I also have made over 1 bill with uh, the normal splits that I got before I started soloing, or maybe even more than 1 bill, I'm not sure how much, I think it's even more, it's probably 1.5 bill, so I have made quite a lot of money from the series, which is pretty epic, and it's a fun goal, so... 
I'm pretty close to finishing with only 4 items left as you can see now in the left to do um, I am trying to do uh, solos as much as possible but I'm probably gonna start doing soon since those kills are faster and I really want to finish my goal so I can sell this and start making another series probably so hopefully I'll be getting those items soon and probably next RTG is gonna be in a week or two three maybe so be sure to look out for that and I'll see you guys the next time